Greetings. First and foremost, I'd like to thank the staff, faculty, and corporate sponsors for allowing me to be here today. It's truly an honor to be back at an institution that believed in me enough to get me to where I am today. Class of 2015, you made it. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Now, I know what you guys are thinking because I've been in your shoes. All the hard work, long nights, tests, quizzes, and even detentions all brought you here. When I got the offer to come here to speak to you guys today, it made me reflect on my time as a Christ the King student. And one of the things that I began to think about is purpose and how much it can alter someone's life. Now, I'd be lying to you if I told you I was the most well-behaved student or even the smartest while I was here. But one thing that never slipped my mind was this thing called purpose. I always knew that there was something destined for me I may have not known it when I was there, but through time, I was able to embrace it. One thing that I didn't mention to you guys about a feeling that I had when I was here was fear. Just as much as I was excited to almost run through these church doors my senior year, I was also scared because I had no idea what lay beyond these, these church doors. I recently attended my younger brother's eighth grade graduation. And it reminded me of my years in the eighth grade. And I wanna share a story with you guys and it's kind of embarrassing, but I feel like today is a perfect day to get this off my chest. Don't judge me. <laughs> Um, when I was in the eighth grade, a few weeks before my eighth grade graduation, my principal approached me and he asked me, would I like to speak at my eighth grade graduation? What an honor it was to be able to have the opportunity to even be thought of to speak at a graduation. With no hesitation, I told him no. Yes, the person at the podium right now speaking to your sons and daughters got denied a chance to speak to students for his own graduation. That really happened. Now, I know you guys are wondering why I denied my principal's offer. It wasn't that I thought I was too cool for the opportunity or I couldn't read. I was just simply afraid. And it wasn't until that day that I realized how much fear can hinder your success. Class of 2015, what I want to talk to you about is fear. Everybody has it. But what you should truly be doing once you walk out of these doors is learning how to embrace fear. When it comes to being an individual, there's nothing wrong with choosing your own path. Some of the most successful people have had to do that. We can think about millionaires. Now I know more than half of us have iPhones right now. Yeah, some of you are probably on them right now, but. <laughs> when you think of people like Steve Jobs, who had to get fired from his own company because of his individual beliefs. This is, what, this is what it takes to determine your individuality. People may not understand who you are and what you want to believe in, but you have to be strong enough to be willing to do so. The fear of trying new things. Coming from where we come from and, and being a part of this culture, sometimes we tend to confide ourselves inside these little boxes where we think that doing something new isn't cool. For me, my freshman year as a college student, 
I was in search of a job. Now, the job that I found was quite unordinary. I found a job in the athletic department as the school's mascot. <laughs> Could you imagine me, Rocky the Red Hawk? <laughs> now, I never did it for the money. And I never did it for anyone else. I did it for myself. Because I believe that me putting myself in a position where I could almost suffocate to death in a mascot outfit was something that I needed in order to challenge myself for new opportunities. And as I did cartwheels and backflips and gave little kids high fives, what I learned from my time doing that is that it takes courage in order to put yourself in this position where new things can become available to you. And another thing that I wanted to talk about is this fear of failure. I know we've all been there. You're scared because you may have gotten a low grade on a test that you, you studied for forever. But I want to tell you that fear is only a door that closes so a better one can open for you. You have to use that as a lesson that motivates you to do better. Embrace it. Failure doesn't do anything but change who you are as a person for the better. When we dwell on failure is when we can't develop as human beings. There have been times where I failed. I wouldn't be standing on this podium right now if I was a straight A student. I'm talking to you from a place where I had to learn how to become the man that I am. And I couldn't do it without God. I needed him to be clear to me, just as I'm being clear to you, that there's nothing wrong with messing up here and there. We're only humans. One thing that I really wanted to express to you guys is to the families. Can I please have the family members of the graduates stand up? Y'all came in here deep today, huh? <laughs> graduates, look around the room. Look at all these faces. As much as you want to be proud of your success, the people in these rooms are as much as responsible for getting you here as you are today. I know I wouldn't be where I'm at without my family and the love that they had for me, the unconditional love that they had for me. I personally feel like these people deserve a round of applause. Now, family, your sons and daughters are going off to do great things today. They're in the face of adulthood. They need you just as much as you need them. Embrace them. Understand that things are changing in their life rapidly. There may be times where they can't call you every day. And for you guys, there may be times where mommy can't cook you dinner at night, or daddy can't wake you up in the morning. But what you have to realize is that this connection that you have with these people cannot fade. It can only get stronger. That's the, that's the key to success. These people that you have right now is your own network. You use them when you need to and when you have to. Never forget that. Class of 2015, I believe in you. Parents, when we're looking at these individuals, these are our future. These are our doctors, our lawyers, our entrepreneurs. They're, go they're going to go on to change the world as we know it. And I believe in them. 
Class of 2015, congratulations. You made it.